What's up guys, Blademaster here. So, the first episode of Total War Tactics went better than expected. Over 90 likes on the first day is basically unheard of on my channel. So thanks for the support, I'm sure you're gonna like this one. This episode of Total War Tactics is gonna talk about Divide and Conquer, Screen and Isolate, a 2v2 team tactic that is both effective and makes playing 2v2s a more intense team-based affair. You need to have a shock faction like the Swaby and their amazing charge, or Odrissian Kingdom, basically any army that can destroy another very quickly. You also need a defensive faction, one that has access to pikes and skirmishers and decent cavalry to play the equally important role of supporting. In this case, I have taken the Swaby with the Ariovistus General, giving me the most powerful combination of abilities in the game with pride and fast charge. Using both abilities can destroy any army in a matter of seconds. But after the charge, Swaby suffers. And it also suffers, like other shock factions, against missiles and cavalry charges. Which is why my ally, Firefly, has brought Epirus. Epirus has access to pikes, good cavalry in the Thessalians, and great skirmishers in the mercenary Rodians. However, a pike line can be easily maneuvered around if they try to attack head on. But it does provide an extremely effective way of dissuading the enemy from attacking from the sides, which this tactics video will show you how to exploit. So what we do here is deploy as one and rush headfirst into one of the two enemy armies, the Massilians in this case. Before the Carthaginian ally has time to react, we're already within firing range of the Massilian army. Now comes the crucial part. Epirus moves its pike line to cover the right flank of our armies, so the Carthaginian infantry and cavalry cannot charge into the rear of my Swaby force. Meanwhile, I use fast charge, whistling shot and flaming shot to chew through the Massilian Hoplites line with my steroid infused Wodenas spears and swordmasters. The Epirote Rhodian slingers stand behind to slaughter enemy Massilian skirmishers and just like that, one of the two enemy armies was divided and conquered. With that simple but critical move of moving the pikes to an angle, Epirus managed three things that eventually won us this game. First, he allowed me to rush all my units ahead to deal with Massilia without having to be afraid of its ally. Second, he made it so Carthage either had to waste ammo on his cheap pikemen to get them off the field or waste time to move around them, where his shock cavalry and my javelin cavalry awaited them. Finally, it allowed us to pick apart the opposing team, making it that much easier to destroy each faction, and divided, they fall. Divide and conquer. It's not a trick just the Romans can use. It works against most opponents since there's no real teamwork being used in most Rome 2v2s, but that just gives you and your teammate an upper edge and makes the game that much more fun. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode of the Total War Tactics series, and until next time guys, peace.